Hi, I'm Mark Goddard here for Tennis One and I'm here with professional WTA player Melinda Zink and today we're going to go through a very basic overhead drill using a neurodevelopmental sequence starting with the most basic shadow exercise which is often overlooked by a lot of players and this is very important to build up muscle memory and to get you into the habit of using the right footwork patterns. So what we're going to show you here today is Melinda starting off with a shadowing technique then we're going to go into a fed ball drill and then finally we're going to finish off with a live drill going through all the necessary sequences to build up a, a good overhead. Okay, so most people People associate the serve with the overhead and they are very similar motions but only in the upper body in the arm with the overhead you clearly have a big difference which is you have to move to the ball whereas your serve you're not moving okay so what I want to address here is, is how to move to the overhead now I'm sure you've all seen a lot of times the player at your club that moves back to the overhead in this fashion here or you even see someone that does turn which is a good start but then they side shuffle back like this and you really don't get very far very fast so what you have to do when hitting an overhead is make sure that when you're in your ready position if you see that you're being lobbed the first thing you're actually going to do is take that small step forward a drop step okay where you're going to change the angles of your knees so that you can have a most explosive and powerful push and then cross over a big crossover back to the overhead okay so if I do that in a faster motion now you're going to see I come in lobbed up and then I can close right back in for the volley. And remember, when you're hitting an overhead, this really should be the end of the point. Okay, you want to get up there, you want to hit that shot with conviction, and you want to be aggressive. And the key to being aggressive, as you've seen with most of our videos, is working from the ground up, using the ground reaction forces, and being in good position to execute the shot. You very rarely see the best players out of position trying to hit the overhead. That is the most important aspect of this shot. Okay, so here you can see Melinda in phase one and she's just using the shadow drill to improve the technique of her footwork moving back to an overhead. And what you'll notice here is she's just going through it with a split step, a turn and then a good crossover step. And this is a great way to build up muscle memory without hitting a ball first. And this just allows you to build some confidence in the necessary footwork needed to hit an effective overhead. Okay, in the second part of this shadow drill, I've now added a resistance band to Melinda, and what this does is help promote an effective leg drive. And this can be done by just tying a resistance band around the bottom of a net post as well. But it's a great way to improve that first step and power to the ball, which is key when trying to get up to an overhead. So in the second phase of our neurodevelopmental sequence, Melinda is now going to hit the overheads from a fed ball situation. And you can see she's using the same footwork technique as she had in the shadow drill, but now she's actually going ahead and hitting the ball. Right, use that jump to get up. Good, in. Yep, now get up for that. Come on, Melinda, push, 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 and jump. Good, 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 in. Good. Ben. Right angle. Come on, come on, jump, jump, jump. Good girl, and in. Good volley. The key to making this drill successful is the mindset or mentality that you bring and making sure that you don't let any balls go for your partner or bounce over your head. Here we go now. That's it. Get up and push. Good, Melinda. In. Good. Good. And up. Up, up, up. Come on, come on. Find it. That's it. In. Good. In. Close, 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 close. Yes. Yeah. Finally here you can watch Roger Federer demonstrating the proper way to hit an overhead. Thanks for watching the video today and I hope that you can take some of these ideas and take them to your own practice courts. I know a lot of recreational players and intermediate or pro players use doubles as one of the main parts of their tennis game and this is a great way to improve your tennis. And uh, keep checking back to Tennis One for some more videos. Thanks very much for watching.